first thing I think about when I'm approaching the green is I'm hoping for number one that I'm inside my two playing partners. Therefore, I can go to school on their putts. I can watch how far past or how short they are and then gauge the, the pace of the green accordingly. All greens aren't the same consistency or the same pace, so it's important to watch your playing partners. I see a lot of amateurs, even in pro-ams, where they, they don't tend to watch other people that are having a chat about what, what's happening at home or whatever. Coming now to a putt of 40, 50 foot, which we've got here, I think of two main things in the putting. Obviously, the first we've talked about already is the pace of the putt. The second is how to attack it. If I go back one foot, I've got to follow through at least two, two and a half feet, three feet. Because I know if I do that, I'll accelerate through the putt, and that's a must on any putt, downhill, uphill, or otherwise. If I don't accelerate, and I decelerate through the ball, I've already missed the putt, so there's no point in hitting it. Let me show you what I mean. If I take it back one foot, I've got to bring it through at least two and a half feet, and that gets it accelerating towards the hole. So I've got one foot back, two and a half foot through. That was a fast downhill putt there, but I did the right thing. I got it past the hole, making the next putt uphill easier. Okay, it didn't go in, but I'm not trying to hole everything. Sometimes I'm just trying to two putt from this distance, and that's the only way possible. If you leave that putt short down the hill with the next one, we're looking serious. Uphill putts pose a different type of challenge. All we're trying to do is get the ball to the hole. Most amateurs fail in that and leave it short. A good tip for that is think of the hole two and a half, three foot past where it actually is and hit it towards that target. Therefore you reach the hole much more often and thus the ball will go in. I never ever grip the putter tightly on any putt, but especially on these four or five footers. This hopefully will be mine and your last shot of the hole. I grip the putter very, very loosely to encourage a smooth and slow backswing, thus encouraging an acceleration towards the hole. Get back low and slow and through. And as I say, let's hope it's the last shot of the hole. There are many putting styles, but for me, the common factors remain the same. Keep your hands relaxed, and most importantly, accelerate through the ball.